like a lump. Um, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, Psych Word Podcast? Welcome you know, back. Another long hiatus. Another hiatus. <laughs> After we did one comeback episode, here we are. <laughs> no, we took some to take more time off. <laughs> Don't worry, we're back. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, so I, I guess she's going to be in here. Our, our little dog's down here but at her feet, but I think she'll be all right. She won't bark. I think, I think she's just happy to be in the room. Yeah. The room where it happens. Sh- <laughs> That's from Hamilton. <laughs> Guarantee is you it? didn't get that reference. No, I didn't get it. I was just about to be like, this is where it happens? This room? <laughs> this Not room? that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens in this room but greatness. <laughs> the great content. <laughs> um, I, wish, I wish I could like pan the camera to show the rest of the room. To show all the kid toys. <laughs> Legos like shoved. Random plants no, hanging. Shortly. Yeah, yeah. I know. <gasps> Homemade Me plant too. hangers. <laughs> Same Z. Yeah. So what's new? What's been going on? We, I think we should point out that we say that we rarely, I'm sure everybody can tell, we rarely produce these. <laughs> like, like come up with a plan. You were on a podcast where they had a whole, they sent you a whole outline of the questions and all that kind of stuff. Like we just turn on, I know, we just turn so on nice. the camera and the mic's so like, all right, let's just talk. But when we were, um, um, uh, downstairs this morning, like doing a whole bunch of work stuff and everything. We were kind of like, Oh, I can't wait to podcast so I can actually talk to you. I, <laughs> I can actually talk to my wife, you know, mm. for, for 45 minutes. I know. I have been greatly looking forward to it. Yeah. I've been looking forward to it for weeks, actually. Really? Yes. I was looking forward to constantly telling you to speak up and make sure you're talking and on get the mic. Closer to the mic. Yeah, and stuff like that. Because it wouldn't Do be. Do you enjoy doing that? <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode without it. Are you happy? We do have a friend that. <laughs> That I would say religiously, probably the only one watches uh, our podcast, yes. and he says he always gets a kick out of me telling you to uh, mm-hmm. uh, talk into the mic or yep. talk loud or, or what. Appreciates your bossiness, <laughs> as do we all. Um, yeah. So uh, how did, so what, what's uh, where where do we leave off uh, episode nine or ten? Uh, I think we were just talking about updating the what's going on in life. IG loss, the breakthrough vid. Is your IG still lost? It is still lost. <laughs> so okay. Can so can I say even like okay? I wonder if this is even okay to say, but I think everyone knows this is standard practice, kind of or what's that? acceptable practice that a friend who had lost her IG, as many of us ladies have lost IGs at some point, a friend said, hey, this guy it can get it back for you. For a price. For for a hefty price, honestly. Yeah. And after talking and agreeing eventually to the price, you can't get it back yeah. yet. No. <laughs> You're like super banned. Okay, so I have a theory. I have a theory so on this. So even a hefty price tag cannot undo whatever mysterious yeah. sins I, I have done. I have a theory on this. Um, I'm looking, man, I'm looking at us on that camera and we look like we've been in, like live in North Dakota and been inside. Uh, Are we super white? <laughs> yeah, like super white. No. <laughs> we should call our podcast super white. <laughs> super whitey. And I'll just yeah. quote Hamilton at you. <laughs> and you'll talk about Starbucks um, seasonal drinks. <laughs> yeah. So, so my, uh, so my theory um, is on this. Uh, so years ago, I remember listening to, uh, Artie Lang on the Howard Stern show and he, he, he told a story about like one of his friends or somebody he knew in New York city that, that, uh, um, they would quote unquote, get people accepted, uh, into the like fire Academy or whatever you got to do to be a firefighter. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you know? Um, and you have to pass this test apparently. So what this guy did, he was, he was a scam artist. He would just tell people, Hey, I guarantee you'll get accepted into the Academy or whatever it is. Right. And, and he said, you know, it's, five thousand dollars and the guy was apparently upstanding so people believe him. he goes if you don't get in i'll give you your five thousand dollars back that's how much that's how sure i am at doing it he never he didn't have a connection though this guy was just counting on people to study and pass the test mm-hmm. and get in and if they got in he just kept their five thousand dollars and if they didn't he just gave it to them back so i'm absolutely positive that this IG guy that mm-hmm. could get it back that you know that your friend messaged you yeah. to get it back is nothing but he just reapplies for your account just like you did yeah. and if he, through his country or wherever he lives mm-hmm. and if he gets it back he then he just says okay here's you know what however much he mm-hmm. quoted you and if he doesn't it's no skin off his back he just it takes him probably the same amount of time it took you to try to, try to reapply mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff I'm 
I'm a a hundred percent positive that's what it was. <laughs> this guy I'm didn't have 99% people. Ninety nine percent positive. Yeah, that's what yeah. It is. But whatever. I know he's. Know. The person's in a different country, and we're like, I wonder if that country's like Facebook management. It's just like they just don't. Maybe they're they get no requests every day. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas like the U.S. It's is kind of exciting. overburdened. You're doing something. Uh, you're like putting more effort into your IG, and you got a bunch of like old pictures that you're posting like every Yay. day and stuff like that. So I mean, it's... I mean, let's not call them old pictures. It's not. Uh, what are they? <laughs> <laughs> pictures of the past. <laughs> A glimpse into yeah. what was. <laughs> don't you ever use the word old in me in the same <laughs> sentence again. <laughs> no, I just I don't want to. I get enough of that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oldie McOldface, <laughs> what are you doing on here? Are you 25 or 45? <laughs> That's my favorite comment. Yeah. I'm right in the middle, sir. Like, if you can't figure it out, <laughs> uh, add and subtract. Yeah. I mean, some mornings you do look 45. No, <laughs> so now we're sitting close together. Oh, yeah. We did this setup because we didn't have time to do like the tri- like triple camera. Can. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, somebody right now in the comments is like, the production quality has gone way down on the sacred <laughs> podcast. Yeah, the- I'm out. <laughs> hey the one of ten of you don't <laughs> um, don't get feisty yeah, no, don't get I, I only meant i want people to be enthused about my content i don't want people to be like oh she already posted this picture yeah yeah no i know what you mean but a lot of people just find you so it's a new picture to them it's all relative yeah it's all new to them <laughs> it's all new to i'm them. not slacking i'm just <laughs> recycling uh yeah the um uh so this is just makes it easier for us to really quick punch one out, edit it, to get that content easy, out <laughs> for, easy. for the masses. <laughs> you know, everyone wants hey, to know. Jay Shetty says he only goes 80% on his content. Who? He's a big podcaster. Don't worry about it. Who? Jay Shetty. His name is Jay Shetty? Yeah. He's a big podcaster? He's a big podcaster. Oh. What does he, what does he do? He's a former monk. So oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You told me, yeah. you told me about that. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, he says it's not relatable if you try to make it too perfect. So he only tries to give like eighty percent of his best. <laughs> There's got to be a monk saying for that, like, <laughs> "Don't be lazy, give a hundred percent." An inspirational poster. Um, okay, next yeah, I time, get it. Next time we'll have a poster back there. Yeah, we should start filming all your content with iPhones and stop buying all the expensive <laughs> cameras. Stop wasting he so much said time 80%. in Premiere Pro. <laughs> yeah, I, the iPhone 13 is roughly 80%, right? I mean, yeah. I love it. I do, I do follow people that do like their audio and their video on iPhone and I'm like, bastards. Yeah. Um, what uh, podcast? Oh, speaking of podcasts, I've been uh, listening to, uh, we always like to talk about uh, uh, other content that we consume um but lately remember when i had covid i i, I uh um rewatched the entire season of entourage and then and it, during this time the podcast i was listening to was the um the office the deep office dive. deep dive with kevin Baumgart Baumgartner, and i was like man this is so cool they should do it with so many shows and i'm like they should do it with entourage show you know because i just got done watching it for, I, maybe second or third time to your delight. yeah just all i did was just search for something i just searched i was like oh, maybe some super fan has an entourage podcast out there and then sure enough it's the creator of entourage mm-hmm. and um kevin dylan and kevin Conley have mm-hmm. a podcast and I'm like so far behind. They had a hundred episodes already, but I don't know. They might release once a week or twice a week. I don't know what they do, but I'm like catching up on like, I'm like in March of 2021 now, or maybe February of 2021, uh, listening to that. But we were listening to that this morning and laughing pretty hard because they recount every mm-hmm. episode. Most episodes, they like recount and uh, like they're going in order or something like that. I don't know. I always find it so interesting mm-hmm. with that. So I'm like actually been geeked lately that that's We been listened playing. to an episode and then I'm like, I know I want to go back and watch that. And episode. we did. Didn't we and watch we, it or we watched a different one? We watched, I think they were talking about the season two finale and we watched the season three finale. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Somebody texted you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we watched, but, but again, we went. And watch the show again. You know, we just picked an episode to watch before bed. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I love, I love podcasts like that. I, I, I mm-hmm. the, all the behind the scenes and uh, uh, you start to learn more about like uh, when they're talking about that show in particular. 
I remember I was younger when I was watching it the first time, and I remember all my friends laughing, and we we we'd, uh, uh, we'd watch it like every Sunday, mm-hmm. but uh, um, I think it was Sundays. But uh, uh, you forget like how much of like Hollywood watched that. It's like, mm-hmm. like, I'm sure everybody in Albuquerque watched Breaking Bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess everybody in like the business and everything watched Entourage. And they tell all these stories about all these famous people that would come up to him and either say like, oh, he's my drama or, mm-hmm. or oh, we did he, this or we eat. ate there. Or, we did yeah. this. Yeah, it was it was actually I don't know. I, I like seeing and hearing about all that mm-hmm. stuff i just find it interesting some people might find it really boring i'm sure there's a mm-hmm. bunch of people that like the murder mystery podcast i don't like those i just like uh how people make tv shows and create content and those those things are like perfect i like it too it's very yeah. surprising to me yeah some of the cameos and stuff almost seem inconceivable when you go back and watch like the whole james cameron arc you're yeah. like why with James Cameron, like, spend time doing this. Like, he has so much on his plate. Yeah. Oh, it takes him 10 years to make, like, an awesome movie. Like, yeah. Oh. But the, it was a thing to yeah, do back it then. It seemed like he was so into it, and he worked really hard, like, yeah. on his delivery and everything. It was cool. Have you ever, did you do, is, well, has anybody been on that show that you've met before? Mm-hmm. Like, out of all the cameos? I'm trying to think. You've met a lot of famous people, right? I've met a couple couple famous people i feel like it's not a lot but i've had some really encounters oh yeah. um yeah i'm trying to think because i know there's so many famous people on there i'm trying to think i'm like oh i've met that person i, I don't know have you met mandy moore no Ooh, why like did i have to? to think about that i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> what world no i have never met mandy moore. are you lying <laughs> i would I, honestly i would like to meet the guys on the podcast uh, the, yeah um, the Kevin Dillon and Kevin Conley. And even the creator, yeah. Doug Allen, seems pretty cool. I feel like Kevin Dillon would want to be friends with you. <laughs> that's <laughs> what people like don't get. Yeah, that's what people don't get. They would all want to be friends <laughs> with me. Um, <clears throat> no, they, they they would be cool to me. I never met anybody. Wow, who have I met? Most everybody I've met, famous people, have all been like musicians. Because mm-hmm. like one of my best friends. Uh, um, Is like uh, a well thought of musician. Yeah, yeah. He's in a giant production in, um, in Las Vegas. And. So uh, he, he always had the hookup with, uh, to go like backstage mm-hmm. at shows or meet these musicians afterwards. Oh, so did you you weren't here? Maybe I'll post the picture. I don't know if it's too, too much. Ah, they're they're kids, so maybe I won't post it. But there was three kids that came up to our um, oh, yeah. our, our uh, hot, what trick or treating. You know, mm-hmm. we, we put the we put the table at the end of the I driveway. I was going around with the kids, and Mr. Sike had sat back with the candy. Yeah, it's the first time you've ever. Yeah, usually, usually I'm walking around. with the kids. Yeah. yeah, to give the neighborhood mom something to look at. You know. <laughs> Uh, a little treat a little treat they work hard they deserve <laughs> <laughs> they deserve a little thrill once a year that's all i give them but anyway so okay so these these three kids come up and so it's stingy. a stingy and immediately i recognize i think it was a boy and two girls if i'm correct but because of their mass i couldn't tell and maybe 14 years old homeschooled which i found really strange because of what these costumes are but so that one of the kid comes up and he goes I go, I go, what are you? And I recognize it right away. And you could kind of see the, the like, ugh. and he goes, I'm evil Pinocchio. And then I go, ah, oh, that's crazy. I go, you look like uh, somebody from like uh, the band Slipknot. And he goes like this. And then the other two come over and like, oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. You're the first person that knows. And they start just going off. Like we created these out of paper mache and blah, blah, blah. And, and they had the coolest, they I mean, the coolest costumes. And then, you know, I'm in my 40s and I go, hey, uh, uh, I've actually met their lead singer before. And they thought I would like almost they wanted to reach out and like, oh, my God, can I touch you? (laughs) But in a serious way, like I would have been like if I was an adult, like, you know, like if somebody told me that, like, oh, my God, can I touch you? You met Corey Taylor. (laughs) But they they were freaking out. They're like, no way, no way. How? And I told him about my buddy in Vegas. I'm like, it was just after a show. And he came walking up. And I had no idea it was him because I at that point, like he really, the internet wasn't like huge where you could yeah. see everybody's faces. You didn't get to see like the behind the scenes. Yeah. So like, I didn't know what the guy looked yeah. like. And then after he left, that's when my buddy goes, you know, that was Corey Taylor, right? And I go, you gotta be kidding me. Why don't you so say something? Cool. I like, oh, sorry. I didn't know. But uh, yeah, they were super hyped that, that I met him. <laughs> and then I just started taking, I just started taking handfuls of candy and throwing it in their bags. Like, you're the coolest ever. Bless it, you, sir. <laughs> but when they said they were homeschooled, because you know, 
know in our area, you're homeschooled for two reasons. Because your parents want you to travel for sports uh-huh. or you're super, super yeah. religious. Which and fine, usually you know? the super religious ones are so limited on their technology. Like we know homeschool families where they're like – Oh yeah, they don't get tablets. They don't get like we're not oh, gonna yeah, yeah. we're not gonna just let them out well, on the internet. I'm also talking about like a lot of like Slipknot songs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like if I remember correctly, a lot There's of like, like a devil, demonic, like, <laughs> demonic under- thing, and I'm like, <laughs> oh man, I go, you guys must be great athletes, <laughs> <laughs> or your parents just don't know. Let me guess, softball, softball, soccer. <laughs> <laughs> that kid was telling his mom, uh, "We're sad, Pinocchio." <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, Where do you download from? <laughs> yeah, but I that that was great. So yeah, so I've I've I'm I've talked to unknowingly a couple members of Slipknot once or twice. I, really cool. It makes me really happy. Like I feel like those kids probably were about to lose faith in yeah. the suburbs, and then you just perked it, <laughs> perked yeah. it right up from, yeah. turned it around. I gotta think of like as I'm saying this now. Like I've never done anything like that would be considered bad with any musician so when i say something i'm like thinking like should i because you went out on a date with a famous guy once I uh, did. and i don't know like you i guess you could say it but I, and maybe we can edit it out if we go to his wikipedia page and it's like he's been married since 2002 <laughs> <laughs> i feel like maybe i won't say it although even if i say like the most famous movies that he's been in and i'll give it away so yeah so the musicians like i've been to one of the guitarists of corn's house like mm-hmm. after a show in irvine we went to his house and partied there i thought that was pretty cool um and mind you none of these interactions anybody would ever remember me i was always like <laughs> speaking of entourage i was the odd like i was like i was like way down here but i just happened to be tagging along <laughs> Um, I was going to be like, this is my drama, but you were more like the, who's the friend who gets out of prison and comes? <laughs> Dom. This is my Dom. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely wasn't him either. <laughs> you were Dom either. Uh, Trying yeah. to think of a secondary um, character. Yeah, so that, uh, dude. I'm trying to think who else. Who else? You, I, my favorite that you've met is uh, Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. That Buzz was. Aldrin was the coolest. That was an exciting night. I met, um, that was at the midsummer night stream party at the playboy mansion yes. which there were always celebrities yeah. around the playboy mansion understandably so and it was so cool and like chill and uh crispin glover and i used to email back and forth nice <laughs> for a while. yes um <laughs> couple of pen pals mcfly yes yeah he's good he's a good actor he, he made that movie with the rats right where there's a whole bunch of rats yeah. it's called something it was like a single name title I know I'm blanking on it. When I met him, I think was around the, that time. Around that time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool. But yeah, he was he was a funny guy. He was just the same in person. As, really? Yeah. As his acting, and probably. Stuff. Buzz Aldrin was amazing. Yeah. I was, like legitimately in awe. <sighs> probably the most embarrassing celebrity encounter, which it might have not even been <laughs> an encounter. <laughs> an encounter. <laughs> I didn't get close enough, but um, I was in. A nightclub in Las Vegas in like the like private area of the nightclub, not realizing there was even a more private area, if that makes sense. Like they it let you seemed in like I was right. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah. So <laughs> you were in, you were in a VIP area, but of the nightclub. You didn't realize there was a second VIP area. Yes, I didn't. That you weren't privy. I should to. have realized there were people more important than myself, as there always are. <laughs> Usually, I. I'm aware of that, but mm. um, saw Michael Jordan like the goat twenty feet away, <laughs> the goat. Yeah. Um, and quite honestly, was so he was so breathtaking. He was just so like he just radiated awesomeness, <laughs> as you would imagine. And I'm this has never happened to me in my life, but I just saw him and started walking towards him, like I was gonna, I don't know, say hello or something. <laughs> <laughs> How about those? <laughs> Did you really have to think what Timmy what was like to say? No, no, no. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, which not. And so, and then somebody had to, uh, a bouncer was there and put his hand out and said, You can't go back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't talk to him. That's so good. <laughs> He's probably like, You know, white girls try to go up to Michael Jordan all day long. That's what yeah. I'm here for. <laughs> Becky Patrol. <laughs> Becky, get out of here. <laughs> What year was this? <laughs> Not you, Becky. Yeah. Like 08, oh. 07? Oh, yeah. 2009? It was probably early 2008. Wow. So you never got to say hi to him or anything like I that? I never got to say whatever 
<laughs> whatever mundane thing I was going to come wow. up with. <laughs> You're a really good basketball player. <laughs> My, uh, I have an uh, embarrassing, well, it's not really embarrassing because nothing really embarrassing happened, but it was really awkward. I met Wesley Snipes when I was like, a young mm-hmm. uh, airman in the Air Force uh, at a club. And his friend brought me over to meet him all because I, we were in, You're we were, from the same. Place. Yeah, we were from the same uh, a, a area, basically. Yeah. Uh, we grew up uh, kind of close. I never, didn't know the guy. And um, we were just talking and found out we we're from some area. He's like, I'm like, what are you doing here? I'm here uh, um, uh, training an actor to box for some boxing mm-hmm. movie or something like that at a prison. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> oh, okay, cool. And he's like, hey, come on, come on, come meet him, come meet him. And he sits me down, and it's Wesley Snipes. And he's sitting there, and the music's all playing. It's loud. You can barely, like me and this guy are yelling at each other just to talk to each other. Mm-hmm. And he's got this, like, leather like fisherman's hat. Or, you know, you know mm-hmm. the hat I'm talking about. Like not the Kangol hat, but... Yeah, kind of trendy. Yeah, it's like it's like what a fisherman would wear with yeah. hooks in it, but it was all leather. Kind of sounds awesome. Yeah, no, it was, and he had glasses on, and this dude sat me down next to Wesley. And mind you, Wesley Snipes was pretty big at this time. Like, you know, he's only a few years removed from like Passenger Fifty Seven, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. And to me, that's like he was a movie star. Sat right next to hey, him. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Don't hey, the mic. Hey, down. I feel like she could sit because she's a good girl. No. No. <laughs> no. Hey, I feel down. like she could breathe into the mic. Push her down. No, sit down. I'm sorry. You're such a good girl. Mommy's so mean to you. I told you. Oh, sit. Good girl, hey. sit. Um, that was a nice sit. Oh, where was I? Oh, so he's, um, yeah, he, I'm sitting right next to him and he just, his buddy just like, oh, hey, this is, uh, you know. This is so-and-so. It just introduced, and he was just sitting there, bouncing to the music, and he just kind of gave me the, what's up, what's up? And we sat next to each other for the most awkward 120 seconds, maybe longer. <laughs> did you and make it through a full song? I don't know, feel? man. I was just I was just thinking anywhere, like, how do I? And everybody was around. Like, we were in a little private roped-off mm-hmm. area, and then his buddy, the boxy coach, was sitting next to me, and I'm just like, it was almost like the scene in... Um, Dumb and Dumber, you know when he walks out of the Seven Eleven, mm-hmm. and he's like, uh, "Big gulp, huh? Yeah, big gulps, huh? <laughs> All, All right. right, see you later." That and he's swinging the twizzles. <laughs> is exactly what it was like. I was like, "Oh my god!" But then afterwards, I was like, "Holy crap!" I just tactically met Wesley Snipes and sat next to him for a few minutes. Blade, huh? Yeah. All right. Oh, Blade is such an awesome movie. It was such an awesome movie. <laughs> it was awesome. So, hey, get down, get down, get down. I feel like she's being a good girl. She's not. Lolo, you are a good girl. Get down. <clears throat> for anybody not watching, that's our dog just hopping up on her mother. Yeah, for anybody listening. Uh, um, yeah, so Wesley Snipes was an awkward, weird meeting, but I did mm-hmm. get to meet him. So that there was, uh, yeah, was kind of... Add that one to the list. He was an A-list. That's A-list mm-hmm. right there. I mean, Buzz Aldrin's A-list, but Wesley Snipes mm-hmm. definitely A-list too. Samesies. Samesies. Passenger 57. Yeah. I wonder what Buzz would have thought of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in a movie with Michael Madsen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You know what? You don't really tell people <clears throat> that. Like, it's never really been like really announced or whatever. Do you, you know what's crazy is I have not yet watched the movie, and yeah. it's on Amazon. Is it? Prime. We that's should right. really you should watch do it. a, a um, I always watch party. think about doing a watch party on Twitch, and then I'm like. I showed my boobs in a scene in the movie, and I don't know if they left that in. I'm like, what if I get banned for like can, accidentally okay. showing my own boobs? The watch in parties, watch party. the watchers on Twitch. Can you watch rated R movies? Oh yeah. So with nudity and stuff in mm-hmm. it. Oh, then it's all right. You're in the movie. Yes, I feel like they would take issue with it though. It, honestly, if you get banned from Twitch, is it real? You know what? That you should do that because you would actually hope to get hope to get banned from Twitch because then you can write somebody and then they'll write some stories. Streamer got and it'll just make you more popular. Streamer got banned because she showed a movie of herself being topless. No, I think it's too far. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know. You're gonna let her do that, and it's gonna drive I me know. nuts. I know. Don't go insane. Get down. You're such a good girl. Maybe because I haven't watched it yet, and it would be really fun to watch it as a community. But 
I think you should do it. <clears throat> but anyway, who you you actually did a scene with? Yeah, Michael Madsen and C. Thomas Howell That's in the movie. Great. And I was a, I was, I mean, Mr. Zeke and I were married at the time. He knew how happy I was about it. Yeah. I was still in grad school, but I was like working nights on the movie. It was my first like paying, yeah. um, yeah, feature film <laughs> put your little stage name up there too kind of like play with it. that's hilarious a little fake name yeah <laughs> i remember that now that's cool. michael madsen's huge too. i know yeah yeah i know that's good um yeah i was happy about was that. anybody else in that you just mm-hmm. michael madsen and c thomas howe like famous wise mm-hmm. um hey we're gonna have to kick you out of the room here in a sec oh don't be distracted by her yeah, i'm distracted good girl. By her. you know me I know. Um, You're in a flow. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny talking about getting banned because I just, um, I've been like getting more into the audio world of uh, not safe for work ASMR. And there's this subreddit con- called Gone Wild Audio where people like offer scripts. Like, and now I'm distracted yeah, too. No, exactly. I know. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, baby. You're so good. No, Let's go, girl. Stay down. Keep talking. Um, Keep talking. I totally lost what I was going to say. Well, <laughs> um, I was going to say, I've been recording some scripts on this Gone Wild audio. It's really, really fun. I actually won a Halloween contest, which was exciting to me. But they're super sexy. Um, all different themes and I recorded an audio about a streamer um planning to have sex on her stream because she wants to get banned and so she like flies in her biggest all-time supporter I thought it was a good concept and like hypes everyone up and tweets that she's going live and then has sex on stream and like takes requests of what they want her to do and then like her uh, broadcast cuts off and she got banned but she was planning to be like done with streaming and move on to another was this a script platform. or yeah it was a script it was a script so i did you feel that script, script? Uh-huh. No but then I'm, i haven't put it out yet i'm like maybe i should blur where it says twitch in the script because Nobody I wonder cares. if that's bannable. It's not going on Twitch. No, it's not going on Twitch. God, so what no. would be bannable? I don't know if they're unhappy with the concept. Who? Twitch. Bezos? <laughs> <laughs> Bezos. What are you talking about? Jeffrey. No, you wouldn't have to. No. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. They're coming after you. They're going to sue you. I know. Jeffrey really is worried <laughs> yeah. about what Our I'm prime doing packages now. are not going to come in two days. <laughs> Uh, now yeah. that would be devastating yeah. to me don't you even joke that's not something i don't think you have to worry about you don't think so <laughs> yeah i don't i feel like i'm shook by many many platforms facebook specifically like i feel like they can just how much control they have yeah yeah, yeah. how much control they have after the ig i'm just kind of like well, i don't know what to do yeah on any they do have a lot of control i get that mm-hmm. and stuff like that but i love the people that are like they like you know it's the worst thing in the world like you know uh uh I just I follow a lot of people on Twitter that compare it to like government stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? <laughs> to, oh, like they're like an evil regime. Yeah, yeah, and and you just like have to politely com- like uh, uh, explain to people is like, well, one of them can just take away your Facebook account. The other one can put you in jail <laughs> and or kill you. <laughs> so I go, there's a you know, there's a big difference between the state and the. But I don't know. You I, can I was just make that, that comparison if you want to, but it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's but very they, true. Social the, media is the, all fake, but just the control they can exert if you like. Yes, make monetary content. control. Yeah, yeah. If you make content and you're relying on, uh, you know. Uh, advertising on YouTube or whatever, mm. and all of a sudden it's just gone. That's like, all right, you know. Mm. Uh, um, but it, uh, the problem is, like, none of these social media companies ever thought of people were going to be making money off of their sites mm-hmm. without, um, without by, by them making money too. Elsewhere, yeah. yeah. Driving, so yeah. I, I can't. It, they're, yeah, it's so touchy. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's cool. Do you have any other famous people now that we were on that subject? Any famous? other famous encounters i don't think so yeah yeah try to get, like i said mine is musician musicians um i hung out in the real world suite with corn again that was an accident getting up there but i thought that was kind of cool very cool yeah and, uh, and the palms it was a real world suite in the palms after a show 
Um, yeah, I just stood there in the corner while everybody was kind of, it was, it was pretty like, uh, uh, small too. It wasn't like we had, we had passes to go to the mm-hmm. after party and anybody knows that that is like, there's like official after parties where like the mm-hmm. bands never go to. And then somebody just saw, <laughs> somebody just saw us at the past. He's like, Oh yeah, it's a room 3207 or whatever. Mm-hmm. We're like, and I was with my buddy who knew the guitarist, but yeah. even he wasn't probably invited up there. And then, uh, they just accidentally, like, they just accidentally told us the room. So way. we're just like, let's go. <laughs> so we just awesome. went and knocked on the door and, you know, the, the dude answered the That's one so guitarist, cool. was a monkey from corn. And, uh, yeah, we just got in. I mean, and again, this was two. Almost 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was almost 20 years ago. I, I, like probably 2003, 2002. That's crazy. You know? That's yeah. so crazy to think about that. Well, maybe 2004. I'm not sure. But mm-hmm. anyway, yeah, that was uh, that was kind of cool. Just even being because I remember watching the real world Las Vegas and that that suite, like how like popular that show was, and I, and just yeah. looking at that suite in the Palms, and uh, um, it was just cool actually being in there. A lot smaller than I thought it was. You know. It's, it's, looks bigger on tv mm-hmm. um but yeah that was fun I'm just trying i'm trying to think of any anybody else that i've met i mean met, like we've met some country artists and stuff like that but mm-hmm. not like our dog <laughs> <I> swear <laughs> i feel like you should have let her sit right here she would have gone to sleep we don't need to give like are you showing the kardashian booty that i wish she has yes oh my gosh so mr sykes uh sister noticed this and now i can't stop thinking about it i can't unsee it she has a really slim waist big old booty she's very muscular she's a pit bull dachshund to the best of our we don't know understanding we don't know because she was just running down the road but she was just running down the road and somebody rescued her and we adopted her she's a good lady our other dog likes her yes um, Our kids call her a little oddball, <laughs> affectionately. She's a loving girl. Uh, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Being uh being on the West Coast was definitely a lot different. I think than yeah. kind of the suburban area we're in now. But I, I feel like it it didn't. You almost you almost like forget all the celebrity encounters that you had because it's so common. Everybody's in one I spot. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> let her sit in my lap i said <laughs> yeah it'll be Look chill okay. I, I said she can touch i mean it could touch it's not like She's a good girl. Anything, so. she needs love more than any dog i've probably ever seen yeah she looks so uncomfortable in your lap right now and, <laughs> and yeah, she just wants to be there um yeah she's an affection sponge yeah so i don't know yeah you're right on the west coast it was uh uh because yeah you run into them everywhere especially mm-hmm. gambling i know mm-hmm. i've seen tons of people gamble like shaquille o'neal yeah um oh phil ivy i got to meet as a poker player mm-hmm. yeah um yes yeah, that's, that's a decent one yeah i know who that is uh i went to the mike tyson's last boxing match in las vegas oh, really? the one they stopped yeah and so a lot of like i guess the wcw halloween havoc is a wrestling event was mm-hmm. going on right around the same time like a day after or a day before mm-hmm. so all those wrestlers were there and i'm not a huge wrestling fan but i recognized a lot of them um that's cool they ate a hot dog next to mills lane the referee i thought that was pretty funny <laughs> mm. I wish I got to eat, uh, uh, meet more actors. I like like actors to me are, um, not too many of them come from like really rich families. I know mm-hmm. some do. There are like a few odd ones. I think ones. most actors are relatively down to earth. I know no, everyone no, lives. I know everyone not lives down like to, a very protected life. Yeah, though. yeah. They're definitely especially like, at a certain level. Quote unquote, Hollywood's not down to earth. But what I do give them credit for is most actors were dirt friggin poor mm-hmm. like dirt i mean they like and worked and worked and, like, worked, and worked and worked yeah. so a lot of people get mad at them like how dare they give their opinion or whatever i'm like you know what they're just normal people like you that just had a dream to do mm-hmm. something they put in the effort and if acting was easy if it was easy everybody would do it because it pays pretty and good when you get up there yeah awesome i know and fun yeah yeah fair so enough. i always uh um i always think it's cooler uh to meet like an actor or something like mm-hmm. that but that was just me i don't i I don't even know if I've met an actor. Have I? I don't know. Have you? I mean. I know. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm married to one. (laughs) 
She hasn't even seen her own movie. <laughs> Do you refuse? I refuse to critique my art. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let it stand on its own. <laughs> Oh. I love it. No, there just there wasn't a way to see it for like a decade, and then um, my best friend told then me the that internet it was came. Out. <laughs> Old. <laughs> then the internet was invented, and I could watch it. Guys, Mister Psych just chipping me down bit by bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. No, then I think there was like it had been so long that I was embarrassed to watch it. I was like, oh man, no, really? I'm nervous. Yeah, I don't really like to watch or listen to myself. So. Yeah. You've been. Why am I making content? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You've been recognized a few times, right? We've talked about that, right? You've been recognized a few times. Ah, that always about. surprises me. Yeah. Did you actually got a message of somebody that was like, "Were you just at this bar?" <laughs> yeah. Your IG, uh, and then uh, were you just at this bar? I didn't know you lived like near or yeah. something like that. I'm like and, I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just visiting. Don't try to find me again. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. I'm always surprised. And then now, now that it has happened a couple of times, then if someone, if I'm just out somewhere and someone kind of like looks at me a few times or like looks at me for a while, I'm like, I wonder, wonder. That's so they pretentious. Know, but just won't say something. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I know. But I have so too. many different kinds of content and so much out there. They could just be like, yeah. is that what she looks like with clothes on? <laughs> I also think I, maybe I'm completely wrong on this, but it's just so weird. Like, like the, you know, the algorithms are so crazy. And I think it's just like if you, if your if your number is in multiple people's phone books, and then they're, you know, because it has all your information, so mm-hmm. it like it puts you in the suggested uh, like Instagram follows mm-hmm. with probably people that are close, like two or three yeah. people away from you. If that makes sense, yes, you might want to follow this person. It must recommend me to yeah. people that know me. Yeah, it's rare that I'm like, I wonder if that person recognized me. But every once in a while, I'm like, if four people have told me that they knew who I was there's probably there would probably have been like four more that didn't want to say anything i don't know could be yeah i feel like i don't know there's probably somebody close by that have knows, you almost, knows more than they have you on. almost maced somebody that walked up to <laughs> no uh, well. i don't ever expect like i don't ever think anyone's gonna yeah know how i am but i'm yeah. like man at some point probably it's probably gonna get to somebody i know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's enough people that know what, like, all the stuff that you do, and you know what I mean. Like, yeah, the, my it's family not like it's a <laughs> and yeah, neighbors and things. There are definitely enough people that yeah that know. That, that that dog's a mad woman. I can't. I just like looking at her necks all kinked, but she just like. I'm like... I sit up here and edit, and she wedges herself down in the chair behind me in like the most uncomfortable way. Yeah. Like limbs everywhere. She yeah. just wants to press her body. On I feel somebody. bad for anybody that <laughs> that that tries to attack you with these two dogs. I mean, that dog will just bite their ankles, but the other one <laughs> it feels the same <laughs> way about you. I'm surprised she's not in here right now, <laughs> trying to curl on your chair. She's over I there. I do have two little shadows. Oh. My good girls. Yeah. 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 Well. Is that a, is that a long and boring enough update of like what we're going Gosh on? Start talking yes. about famous people that I love it. Met that none of them would ever remember meeting us. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure somebody recognizes you too, Mister Psych. Guarantee from, from this? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not not a you single have, person. We have a friend now who was listening to the podcast and wanted to meet you. Just That's right. He would listen before we mm-hmm. we met. But uh, he, was, he was a friend of a friend. It wasn't like some random stranger. Like, I just saw this guy and I want to be buds with him. He seems so cool. <laughs> yeah, it seems so cool. I just need to meet I'm him. I'm just saying for that one person, there probably are five more people that are like, <laughs> I just want to be besties with Mr. Psych. Yeah. I've had people message me and be like, you should buy Mr. Psych beer because he's a cool dude. You didn't do that, though. I didn't do no, that. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Um yeah, no, that that's cool. I like most of the. You do a really good job of making like your fans and everybody seem like they're. Uh, uh, I didn't want that to come out wrong. To to make sure that I mean, you go above and beyond to let people know that how they feel or what they're feeling or what they're doing isn't 
uh, bad or it's mm-hmm. normal. Does that make sense? That's nice like, of you to say. Thank it, you. That's really like very important to me to yeah. convey that. Like, to, like, like, like mm-hmm. guys shouldn't be called simp's. Like, I always take exception to that because mm-hmm. it's just nothing but another loser dude that's like mad that somebody talked to a girl, mm-hmm. right? And they should be talking to him or, or whatever. And then they'll just call that person a simp, mm-hmm. you know, or something like that. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think you do a very nice job uh, uh, at that. I don't. Where was I going with that, or why I did I bring know. that up? Uh, I told you I've gotten messages that people like really. Oh like yeah, so I was, just, I was just saying like I, I like I don't. I know that I've been asked personally like, oh, are, are, <laughs> do you like all her fans or whatever? And I'm like, well, I don't know any of them, but mm-hmm. I don't think any of them are bad people. I think there's dudes and a few girls, right? I mm-hmm. mean, just living their lives mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean uh, to me there's nothing wrong with that not, i just i've always found that there's nothing wrong with that whatever you do yeah. whatever you want to spend your money on whatever you don't want to spend your money on that's that's it's your prerogative I dig it yeah i think it's cool mm. it's a wild awesome world out there it's nice that people can like find a connection yeah. or find the content they're looking for am i good. the weird one because i like get, get dressed up like a bunny and <laughs> pluck the stockings yeah and... yeah <laughs> and i'm the asshole <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh. well that's enough of mr sykes kink for today oh, yeah. <laughs> next episode we'll be talking a lot more about the bonification <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah so anyway all right well yeah that's enough of uh this banter <laughs> that was good i hope that was good banter yeah Maybe you were just rambling yeah. i don't know i'm just rambling thinking of things to talk about we, we, we advertise in the beginning of the podcast we don't really plan things out 35 minutes of boredom <laughs> all right i think we're done <laughs> 35 minutes of boredom and, and yelling at dogs and moving them around and like man when i think professional <laughs> I think these two. Somebody alert Rogan because <laughs> there's a new star. Oh man! Uh, mm. Well, dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. they're always uh, uh, Kevin Conley on that podcast. Uh, you know, he runs a media company, Action Park Media, mm-hmm. and he's always like, "Oh, you, you could be a podcast on ours. You could be a podcast." It's like, what a what a great one for him to see. <laughs> Send it to him. <laughs> hey, they just sat there and. Play with their dog for 45 minutes. I talked vaguely about celebrity encounters for yeah. 15 years yeah. prior. Ugh. I think it was good stuff. <gasps> I got an old one. Ooh. Sorry. I just thought about this. When I was like 16, I had the biggest crush on her. Uh, do you remember the volleyball player, Gabrielle Reese? Yes. I met her and got her autograph at like a, like a beach volleyball what? tour or whatever. You were know, I'm like 16, all like horned were you like, up. I have your poster on my ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, it was almost like what's that movie? Just Friends. <laughs> I what said I beat my ham. To you. What ham? What ham are you talking about? <laughs> the ham that's for dinner. The ham that's for dinner. No, yeah, I had this little like. Uh, card and had all four players on it. Each player signed whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Gabrielle Reese was a smoke show. Smoke show. She's like I six foot, six foot two. I would imagine. I, like, I like women. Women at the top of her game. <laughs> <laughs> the Cheryl Swoopses, Gabrielle Reese's. All right. Oh. All right, cool. Well, gotta run. Enjoy. Let's do that. Uh, uh, we'll film another one soon. We won't. We won't. Uh, we won't take a song break. Only a two-week break. Only a two-week break. Guaranteed. Let's do it. Go team. Go team. Good All podcasting. Right. Good Thank podcast. you for watching, guys. Yep. Uh, All right, let's go. <laughs> Bye.